recorded, you know, uh, in a studio that I had already worked in on other albums, or you know, the studio that we did this record in was my own studio, which is just a culmination of equipment that I've been gathering from all the way back to like when the band Celebration used to be Love Life. You know, from that point until now, I've just been gathering equipment and keeping it in other places, and this was like I'm gonna actually build a damn studio. So, um, so we moved everything in there, and we just kind of like lived there, and, and it was a lot easier. It was a lot easier in some senses because we didn't ever have to behave ourselves. You know, we could kind of like stay there as much as we wanted. It smelled like feet for a little while, and uh, that wouldn't be acceptable in another studio. The most recognizable smell was feet. The process is constantly evolving. I mean, I just keep changing mediums every time anyway. And, you know, last time we went from Pro Tools to tape, and this time we went from tape to Pro Tools. and you know, different machines and all that stuff. It's kind of, I mean, you'd be amazed at how much guesswork is involved in <laughs> in what we do. I mean, we just are willing to try anything because, you know, we don't we don't feel the pressure to make another record like we did because we never have. So, you know, that's kind of out of the question. And we, we're not just not interested in that. Really. Adding uh, members and instruments to this band is more <clears throat> dictated by a question mark than, I mean, we don't really know what it's going to sound like. And it's more about um, not doing the same thing twice, so we have no idea what it's going to sound like. When we first saw Kip uh, play in his band Fall In Love, there was no basis to think that he would fit in our music at all. So, so that we just, you know, we asked him to, to do that, and our bass player, who we asked to play bass, is not a bass player at all. He's a flamenco guitar player and composer and illustrator. I mean, he's the best guitarist I've ever heard, hands down dumbing himself down to play so, more music. So we, so we had him dumbed down to play bass, and now he's playing keyboards. And our drummer is actually a phenomenal guitar player and didn't really play drums. So we had asked him to play drums uh, in this band. So it's kind of an experiment. But, you know, Tunde didn't consider himself a vocalist, and I certainly do not consider myself a guitar player. So it kind of went with the whole what would happen if yeah. thing. So. <laughs> It's getting funnier by the day. <laughs> There's the five of us, which is the core band, which is five full-time members or whatever, but we exist with like a strong strong uh, community. And every record that I make with every other band, everyone's on everyone's records, like uh, Members of Celebration and Dragons of Zinth and uh, Kazu from Blonde Redhead and, and David Bowie and this girl Omega Moon. All these people are just people who've oh, yeah. like, while we were making this record, were there like in spirit. It's kind of like, over time, more and more people realize that this is just an excuse for us to hang out with our friends, and you know, it's it's just, pretty much it's just, I mean, that's like, you know, we're like, hey, we're going on tour, let's bring our friends. Hey, can you play drums? <laughs> just for a month, I promise. Just for a month, or maybe yeah. two years. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, this blah. guy. Come and bust our balls through our interview, man. Of, can you play drums? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever drummer. Whatever drummer. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just, mirac it's nothing short of miraculous. I mean, just like any time, even like when you have a job at the grocery store or something and you become friends with the produce section and it's like you have, you can like always rely on your posse, on your posse you know? It's just funny to have it like as, yeah. as there's no manager telling the produce department to knock it off, you know what I mean? It's like we can get on the intercom and no one will stop us. And that's, <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's freedom. <laughs> that's true freedom. Yeah. There's no point in this timeline that I want to stop, you know, the stop the world. I want to get off shit. You know, I kind of like, all right, well, let's just keep going. Even if something is like completely awesome, I would rather it be awesome in a different way or terrible or something than to just, you know, like living that moment. Just like milk it. Yeah. Dry. I just like, I just kind of see, you know, that movie Groundhog's Day? I kind of see like a lot of people who are in this business who like, they kind of freeze their moment like at what they think is like their best and it's like I kind of I don't really think that that's like against evolution to me and it's kind of like you know I think you gotta go through other phases or whatever and I just don't want that to happen so I just keep changing the people you know that I'm influenced by at any moment or whatever and, and adding members to our band that we don't know what the hell <laughs> they're gonna do you know might even let dogs like <laughs> mix the, you know, just put gravy on the mixing board and they'll just. <laughs>